Ezekiel chapter 30, Yahweh's word came again to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Adonai Yahweh, Wail, alas, for the day, for the day is near. Even the day of Yahweh is near. It shall be a day of clouds, a time of the nations. A sword shall come on Egypt, and anguish shall be in Ethiopia, when the slain shall fall on Egypt, and they shall take away her multitude, and her foundation shall be broken down. Ethiopia and Put and Lud, and all the mixed people, and Cub, and the children of the land that is allied with them, shall fall with them by the sword. Yahweh says, They also who uphold Egypt shall fall, and the power shall come down. They shall fall by the sword in it. From the Tower of Sebeneh, says the Adonai Yahweh, They shall be desolate in the middle of the countries that are desolate, and her cities shall be in the middle of the cities that are wasted. They shall know that I am Yahweh, when I have set a fire in Egypt, and all her helpers are destroyed. In that day messengers from before me in ships make the careless Ethiopians afraid. There shall be anguish on them, as in the day of Egypt, for behold, it comes. Thus says the Adonai Yahweh, I will all of Egypt to cease by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He and his people with him, the terrible of the nations, shall be brought in to destroy the land, and they shall draw their swords against Egypt and fill the land with the slain. I will make the rivers dry and will sell the land into the hand of evil men, and I will make the land desolate and all that is therein by the hand of strangers. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. Thus says the Adonai Yahweh, I will also destroy the idols, and I will cause the images to cease from Memphis, and there shall be no more a prince from the land of Egypt. I will put a fear in the land of Egypt, and I will make Patheros desolate, and I will set a fire in zone, and will execute judgments on No, and I will pour my wrath on Sin, the stronghold of Egypt, and I will cut off the multitude of No. I will set a fire in Egypt. Sin shall be in great anguish, and no shall be broken up. And Memphis shall have adversaries in the daytime. The young men of Avon and of Padbisa shall fall by the sword, and they shall go captivity. At Tehaphnehes also the day shall withdraw itself, when I shall break the yoke of Egypt, and the pride of her power shall cease in her. As for her, a cloud shall cover her, and her daughters shall go into captivity. Thus will I execute judgments on Egypt, and they shall know that I am Yahweh. In the eleventh year, in the first month, in the seventh day of the month, Yahweh's word came to me, saying, Son of man, I have broken the arm of Pharaoh king of Egypt, and behold, it has not been bound up to apply medicines to put a bandage to bind it, that it be strong to hold the sword. Therefore thus says the Adonai Yahweh, Behold, I am again Pharaoh king of Egypt, and will break his arm, the strong arm, and that which was broken, and I will cause the sword to fall out of his hand. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and will disperse them through the countries. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, and put my sword in his hand, but I will break the arms of Pharaoh, and he shall groan before him, groaning of a mortally wounded man. I will hold up the arms of the king of Babylon, and the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down. They shall know that I am Yahweh, when I shall put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall stretch it out on the land of Egypt. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations, and disperse them through the countries, and they shall know that I am Yahweh.